All right, everybody. So let's talk about memory. Memory is an array of bytes within RAM, and a memory block is a single unit in bytes within memory. They're used to hold some value, and a memory address is the address of where a memory block is located within RAM. I like to think of memory as a street with a bunch of different houses and each house is a memory block, which can hold some value, kind of like they're storing a person. And a memory address is the house address on that street where that memory block is located. So this would be a street address, like 123 fake street. So when we declare a variable, let's say we have char a. When we declare a variable, we are setting some amount of memory blocks aside to store some value. So the memory block that this variable is using up has some memory address. And if I assign this variable a value, let's say maybe x, well then if I was to go into my computer's memory and look for this address, I would find this character. So imagine we're walking down the street and we are looking for somebody's address. So we're going house to house and we find a matching address. If I were to open their front door, I should probably knock first at least then I will find the character x. So that's kind of an analogy I like to use when thinking about memory. So let's declare a couple other characters. We have char b, I'll give this a value of y, and char c, and I'll give this a character of z. Okay, so let's find the size of each of these characters. So I'm going to use a printf statement. I'm going to display an integer and the size of each of these characters is within bytes. So I'm going to use the size of operator and pass in one of my characters. So I'm going to pass in A. And I'll do the same thing with B and C. So the size of each of these characters is one byte. And I think I'm just going to add a new line here. Much better. Okay, now we can actually access the address of each of these variables. So each of these variables is using one block of memory. A single block of memory is a byte. So within a printf statement, I would like to display an address. So the format specifier is p, and I will use the address of operator, then the name of one of my variables. So I'll display the address of variables a, b, and C, and then display each on a new line. So here are the memory addresses for these three variables. These addresses are in hexadecimal. These are the street addresses of each of our memory blocks on our fictional street. Hey, uh, so this is Bro from the Future. Just a quick crash course on hexadecimal values. With standard decimal values, they use the numbers 0 through 9, but with hexadecimal, you use the numbers 0 through 9, as well as A through F. So that gives you a total of 16 different values for each digit. So that's why there's a mix of numbers and letters. So each of these variables uses one memory block. They use one byte of memory. So beginning with variable A, this has this street address. But if we go down to the next memory block, you can see that there is just one change. F goes down to E. And then with variable C, this address goes down by 1. So F, E, D. These are contiguous memory blocks. They're all next to each other. But now if we switch to a different data type, like a short, we haven't used these in a long time. Well, shorts use two bytes of memory, as we can see here. So these hexadecimal addresses are now going down by 2. E, D, C, B, A. So each of these variables are using two memory blocks. We need an even larger house, even more memory blocks, and they use up two memory addresses. And then if I change these two integers, well, they're going to use up even more memory. So integers use four bytes of memory, and these are the street addresses of these three variables. And doubles use double the size of an integer. Doubles use 8 bytes of memory, and these street addresses are decrementing by 8. If this was a fictional street with houses, well, doubles use up 8 bytes of memory. So think of these like mansions. They're using up a lot of space. Now what happens with an array? I'm going to declare char a. 
and declare an array. This will be an array of characters to begin with. So let's say character array B, and I'll give this a size of one. So I'm going to print the size of A and the size of B, as well as their memory addresses. Our single character A uses one byte, and this is the street address of this variable. And our array B also uses up one byte, and this is the street address of where this array begins. If I set the size of this array to two, well then my array is going to use two bytes. And now it has a different address to accommodate the increased size of the array. And if I change this to three, it now uses three bytes of memory and it has a new address. And if I change the data type of the array, we'll have to take that into consideration. So a short uses two bytes of memory and we need three elements. So that's a total of six. Two times three is six. And if I change this to int, an int uses four bytes. So four times three is 12 and a double is eight. So eight times three is 24. So yeah, that's kind of the basics of memory. So memory is an array of bytes within RAM. Think of it like a street and a street contains houses. Each house is a memory block that can hold some value. Think of each value as a person living in that house. And in order to find a person, we have to know their address, like a street address. C refers to these variables by their street address, but that's difficult for us to understand. So we just refer to this memory address as a variable name because that's easier for humans to work with. So yeah, that's some basics of memory in C. And in the next video, we're going to discuss pointers. So if you would like a copy of my notes here, I'll post them to the comment section down below. And well, yeah, that's the basics of memory in C.